Hello and welcome to the new England Woodland Creation Checker tool in partnership with the Land App, Forestry Commission and the Woodland Carbon Code. The England Woodland Creation Offer, or UCO, is the new government scheme for gathering funding for the creation of new woodlands. The UCO Checker tool has been designed to make it simple and easy for landowners to understand where they may have potentially eligible sites and where those sites are eligible for extra stackable payments through UCO. Each site will receive an estimate of the carbon sequestration potential for each of the new woodlands on their land. The tool itself rapidly assesses land by comparing it both to constraints, i.e. the layers that are not eligible for woodland creation, such as areas of peat or designations, and also against the additional contribution layers from the Forestry Commission. These additional contributions provide financial payments in recognition of the additional value the proposed woodland would bring the environment, or public goods. These include nature recovery, flood risk mitigation, social access, biodiversity connectivity and keeping rivers cool. To set up a map, we recommend downloading the land covers data from the Rural Payments Agency using an SBI number or a single business identifier number. To do this, please hit New Import Data and choose Basic Payment Scheme, followed by the steps to download land covers. This will give the map a focus area of interest. To activate the UCO tool, users need to click the new, download data and find the UCO checker tool in the list. Here, the user is required to choose the reference area, either via an existing project, such as my land cover layer here, or by creating a new frame. The user is then required to give the plan a name and add an SBI number as shown. Once ready, hit download now to then trigger the checker. It can take up to two minutes for the data to run and the user will be emailed when the data layer is ready. If the user cannot see the data, please refresh the browser. Once complete, the land app will display on the user's map three layers of data. The first data layer will show all the areas of that SBI number that are potentially eligible for woodland creation, taking into account known constraints. The second layer is for all the sites that are potentially eligible for natural colonisation under UCO. This means the applicant would not need to purchase the whips or guards to establish the woodland. These areas are within 75 metres of an existing seed source, such as a woodland or a hedgerow. The third layer are the high value sites, which are all the sites that score more than £2,800 per hectare for additional contributions as the one-off payments. This is to incentivise the right woodland in the right place by recognising the wider benefits of the proposed woodland and making the woodland creation scheme more financially viable. For example, this polygon has scored a total of £10,886 in additional contributions due to it receiving £3,300 per hectare. This was due to the polygon being within the higher spatial priority for biodiversity and also the flood risk management layer. All of these targeting layers are available within the Land Apps Data Layer Library by searching for the term UCO. The UCO tool has also partnered up with the Woodland Carbon Code and can now give estimates for how much carbon could be sequestered over 100 years for each of these woodland blocks. This is done using a proxy mixed native woodland type with minimal interventions. The carbon is served both as tonnes per hectare and total carbon as tonnes CO2 equivalent. These values estimate the potential amount of carbon units that would be made available if the piece of land should become woodland, which then could be sold. A breakdown of these areas and scores can be found using the table view button, which is on the left hand panel for each plan. LandApp subscribers can also download the Excel file at the click of a button by hitting the download. A full summary of the user's reference area should also be received by email. This summary includes the total value of UCO, which of the user's sites, including field ID, is the highest value, and the total areas potentially eligible for natural colonisation. The next step is to create a woodland creation plan. 
Using the three plans provided, users can hold the shift key on their keyboard and select the block or blocks of land that they are interested in applying for UCO for. Once selected, these can be copied over to LandApp's new Woodland Creation template. A plan can be drawn, including perimeter deer fencing, access gates, and permanent access areas. Alongside this, you can also draw things like bracken control. All capital items that are eligible for payment under UCO are available to draw as either areas, lines, or points. Once you have completed your Woodland Creation plan, users can validate their plan using our UCO validator. This is an extra tool to ensure that any changes that you have made to your plan are still eligible, while also updating the values for any features that may have changed shape. This tool is available within the LandApps toolbox, which is accessible by clicking the three dots next to your Woodland Creation template. By hitting Run, you're requesting LandApp to check your updated plan. Once complete, your Woodland plan will be served as a new layer prefixed by the word valid, with the updated payment rates, values and carbon emissions. Any areas that are invalid due to either being outside of your ownership or within a constraint will be served as an invalid separate plan. To demonstrate this, I'm drawing some additional blocks of woodland on my woodland creation plan that overspill into my neighbour's farm. When I run the validation for this area, the land app returns the areas that are valid as a valid plan and extracts the invalid areas, highlighting them red. When I click on the shape, you can see that the error message is outside of SBI number. Once complete, a report of this area can be downloaded using the table view section, where LandApp has a fully formatted application by field ID with the UCO scoring and carbon values retained. It is hoped that this tool will revolutionise the speed in which a landowner or advisor can understand the benefits they are eligible for under UCO and how they could be financially rewarded, aiding the UCO application process and helping to increase woodland across England. If you'd like to learn more or try the UCO tool for free, please register at thelandapp.com. Happy mapping!